funny music, comedy music, usually makes us laugh by using the lyrics. It will be the lyrics where all of the jokes are. But is it possible for music to make us laugh without any lyrics? Is it possible for instrumental music to be funny? Well, that's what we're going to find out. With the help of Alan Stewart, who is the man behind the music of the fantastic Number File channel, I've persuaded five other musicians to have a go at writing funny instrumental music. Now, all of the music you hear in this video will be available to download on Bandcamp or to stream on services like Spotify. And all of the proceeds will be going to the charity Doctors Without Borders, primarily towards their efforts to get COVID vaccines to developing countries, because after all, laughter is the best medicine, apart from vaccines. Right, I'm really excited to see how other people have approached this challenge, because this is, you know, I think everyone's gonna have their own way of doing this. Um, but the first one is Amy Nolte with Boop B Doop Doop. Boop D Boop. Boop D Doop Doop. Boop B Doop Doop. Boop De Boop Boop. Boop De Boop Boop. Boop De Boop Boop. Boop De Boop. Boop De Doop Doop by Amy Nolte. Boop B Doop Doop by the lovely and so smart and talented Amy Nolte who listens to you when you talk, like really listens. All right, for my tune, Boop B Doop Doop. My first idea was to write the stupidest, silliest melody that I could write. And maybe if I was lucky, someone would describe it as lilting. That's like, that's the stupidest thing in music, I think. But then I thought, well, what's gonna play the melody? And the more I thought about it, I, I just thought that there's nothing funnier instrument wise than brass with a with a mute. It kind of like the, uh, the teacher in the Peanuts cartoons, wah, 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 wah. right? So, and then I thought, but I stink at playing brass, and then, well, that's perfect for a song that's supposed to make you laugh. So I haven't pulled out my trumpet in a really long time, but I pulled it out. Jazzy, as expected. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> It feels very cartoon at this point. Bob Wop, Bob Wop. Let's do it again. So playful. Ending. You really strung me along, Amy. You know what I love about this track? It's got the muted trumpet that's just automatically straight away. It's a, it's a funny sound. Like, no matter what melody that instrument was playing, it just makes me smile. I love how that played with your expectations. It obviously set up that idea that it's getting faster and the key's going up, um, which just, like, put the question in your head, what's going to happen next? And I just loved that uh, ridiculous ending. Very nice. So now I'm going to listen to Concerto for a Casual Wind Instrument by 8-Bit Music Theory. 8-Bit Music Theory. 8-Bit Music Theory. <sighs> hey, I'm, uh, I'm 8-Bit Music Theory, and um, I feel like such an idiot. I didn't read the email properly. I didn't realize these were supposed to be funny. So I just wrote a piece. I wrote a piece of music and just performed it to the best of my ability. So... <sighs> so stupid. Sorry. You just sit through mine, I guess. And then uh, we'll get back to the laughter when mine's over. Very grand. It's triumphant. <laughs> it 
It's like a fourth grader. Oh my god. It's too real. <laughs> I wonder if he played this himself. Excellent performance. Now it's just so beautiful. It felt so real. It felt like we were at some concert, like a school concert. What a good idea to take, um, to make everything else elegant except for the solo instrument. So you feel like you're listening to this beautiful piece of music and then there's just somebody really struggling. Already I've spotted a pattern, something that the first two have in common, which I guess is going to come up a lot, is for it to make you laugh, it has to have this combination of competence and what sounds like incompetence where like it wouldn't be funny it wouldn't work if it was just a bunch of instruments that aren't being played properly but the fact that you've got this like um winding and very sort of badly played muted instrument on top of what's a really nice well played backing track that's what that's where the contrast comes from that's what makes it really funny okay next we have the good song by trust fund ozu the good song by trust fund ozu my name is trust fund ozu I'm a producer, drummer, rapper, artist who makes fun music and sometimes sad music, but not today, because today I'm doing my love letter to the slap bass. I think slap bass is the best thing in the universe. I love slap bass. I started the track off by having this house groove that keeps getting interrupted by these loud death metal sections. And then the house groove comes back and is like, okay, and tries to get back into its groove. Um, I don't want to give too much away. It goes full prog at one point. I hope you like it. Thanks so much. Trust Fundozu. Bye. This sounds very Trust Fund Ozu. Actually, was such an amazing balance of really heavy groove, but just also ridiculousness. 
That was brilliant. That's very different from the other two, where, whereas the others were sort of, it was badly played and that's the joke. This one is just pummeling you with unexpected things and it keeps on changing the speed and just when you think you've got a hold of the time signature, it interrupts itself and then, you know, trips over itself. Um, something that's just occurred to me that um, a lot of these, maybe they're at a disadvantage in that we're listening to these being told, this is going to make you laugh. This is supposed to be funny and our expectations are high. And this would be so different if it was in a context. For example, someone said, this is the song I really would like played at my funeral or I've just written a new national anthem and, you know, that would make it even funnier. So these are under a lot of pressure and it's a lot harder for them to make us laugh in this context, but so far they're doing it and these are great. This next one is Good Grief by Jay Foreman. Good Grief. By Jay Foreman. Okay, so here's my one. Um, now, usually when I write songs, I'm a musical comedian and I normally try to write funny lyrics. This is the first time I've tried to write a piece of music where the music itself is what's funny. And this was a really interesting challenge for me. And I was quite scientific about it. And I thought, so what are the tools available to me to create all of the things that you need to make people laugh? Like you, can, you have to have uh, some sort of familiarity and some sort of uh, unexpectedness. And I tried to think, well, what can I, with the very limited tools I have, because I'm not very good at producing music, I only really have an acoustic guitar and very minimal editing skills. And I thought, what, what can I do to try and make the piece funny? And uh, this was the best I could do. So uh, enjoy. Good grief. Like rhythmic grunt. Go by tense into this. This makes me think of like a dad putting on pants. Installing. <laughs> 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 the band got the memo about the key change. And now the rhythm's just everywhere. It's falling apart! Keep it together, man! <laughs> That's a great ending. Very nice. Very nice. I could feel the emotion there. I like it. I like it. I felt like some like stalling trying to find, trying to remember what the words were or something. Okay, next is Yuck Anthem by Justice Cow. Justice Cow, Yuck Anthem. <laughs> Hello, I'm Justice Cow, and my song is called Yuck Anthem. <laughs> Pretty normal and nice so far. Yeah. I love the, I love the yawn. <laughs> this is like we're really bored. Or we're really bored with this music. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. Bro. 
gross. Yuck anthem. Perfect. Thank you, Justice Cow. Are we, is this the last one already? Okay. Okay, the last one is called The Hoot. David Bennett, The Hoot. The Hoot by David Bennett. I actually found this challenge to be surprisingly difficult. I think the thing is that when you're usually composing a piece of music, you obviously want it to sound good, you want it to sound musical, but you can use your own perception of music, your, your own ears, to work that out. But with this, you want to write a piece of music that not, doesn't necessarily sound good, but it sounds funny. And working out what other people will find funny is, I, I at least found, was very difficult. So I tried a few different avenues and eventually I thought, well, I think a sound effect, like a funny sound effect that I can then build a mix around, build like a, a groove. And um, I thought, well, what's a funny sound? Well, maybe like an animal sound. And what's the funniest animal? Well, I think monkeys. <laughs> Very new music. Well, this one's the scariest so far. <laughs> I love the ending. It's always funny when something goes on just a little bit too long or not quite long enough. And because music is all about timing and, you know, where you expect things to land. If you just adjust that slightly, it can sort of, you know, catch you off guard and make you laugh. And this, what, this does a lot of that. This could be used as some kind of an animation to like a cartoon where you're in the forest and all of the animals come out, kind of like Snow White. But then they just really, really start to get down. I think this was a pretty hard challenge to make just a composition without lyrics uh make somebody laugh out loud um i think what we ended up here with in general is some really cool strategies to make that happen these are all so good i love it what a great idea for an album so I hope you enjoyed that slightly different video. Remember that all of the tracks that we wrote are available on streaming services and to download on Bandcamp and all of the proceeds go to Doctors Without Borders. So thank you again to everyone involved in making this video. And as always, a massive thanks goes to my patrons, including the names on screen right now and Andrew Sanastiaja, Andy Deacon, Andrew, Andrew Brown, Andrew Sussman, Austin Barrett, Austin Russell, Bob McKinstry, Brittany Parker, Cameron Allvilla, Colin Aiken, Chris Cabell, Christopher Ryan, David Rivers, Donald Howard, Dr. Darren Wicks, Elena Skorchenko, and Eugene Leroy, FD Hodor, Greg Kowalski, Gilna Molotona, Hamish Brocklebank, Heinrich Kutcher, Hugo Miller, James Kao, J.A. Coco, 
Wilkinsbarger, John Dye, Josh Sandlin, Justin Vigger, Lee Lauritsen, Mark Ziegenhagen, Max O'Keefe, Melody Composer Squared, Melanie Schonert, Michael Vivian, Nancy Gillard, Nathan Lawrence, Daniel Park, Paul Muller, Paul Hazel, Pete Dunphy, Richard Pride, Roger Clay, Sean Kennedy, Steve Daly, Stephen Lazaro, Tim Beaker, Toma Aharoni, Trisha Adams, Tim Payne, Victor Levy, Vidant Flowers, Vladimir Kodakov, and Volti. Thank you.